What's up guys, I'm back with a brand new video and it's time to do a test that has been requested by all of you. We're gonna be doing a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus running the Android 9.0 Pi. This is a GSI ROM generic system image installed on the S9 Plus and it also supports the Galaxy S9. I've done a full review already. It's like a universal image you can have on any Project Treble phone. It requires custom recovery to install. So we're gonna be comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus with the Experience UI. According to Geekbench 4, the S9 Plus, the pure edition on the left, does have a slightly better multi-core score, but overall, they are pretty similar. Again, both are Exynos models, so uh, let's get right into speed test and see if there's any difference. All right, S9 Plus pure on the left and S9 Plus Experience on the right. Uh, first up, we're gonna power off both phones at the same time. Wow, this one was really, really quick. All right, time for a boot up test. Here we go. And let's see. Galaxy S9 Plus Pure on the left and the Experience One on the right. Google, of course, this is, this is stock, baby. And we are done. So that is ridiculously fast there. Now you know why Pixel boots up so fast because of the stock Android. And that is the thing with this one as well. With the stock, your phone will boot up super quick. So everything is closed up in the background as always. We're gonna kick things off with a phone dialer here real quick. Here we go. And uh, I think that was about the same on both phones. Now one thing I wanna clear up real quick is that it is stock Android, but it's still not as polished as you would see on a Pixel phone. So it's still a third party GSI image. Uh, so yeah, that is built universally for Project Treble phone. So do keep that in mind. Well, this one is of course running fully optimized stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Moving on to settings and go. And that's also about the same. Again, you guys are the judge here. Let's launch some third-party application, kicking things off with Instagram. And uh, that is a little bit faster on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, the Samsung Experience version with the latest feed. Let's see my profile. And that's also faster on this one. So just a slight difference there. Subway Surfers. And okay, wow, that is really close, but still feels like the Exynos, uh, I mean, the experience version was a little bit quicker and it was also faster uh, with the response to my fingers. So uh, let's see what else we have. Next, we have Cora. And again, a little bit faster on the experience version. Pin out. And again, same result. Asphalt 9, a little bit bigger game. And uh, let's see, okay. S9 Plus Experience UI seems to be quicker on the loading screen. And let's see, okay, both are taking some time. Oh, that is a draw. So that's about the same on both phones. Photoshop Express and uh, that is also a little bit quicker here with the Experience UI. I gotta say, app opening times are really similar. Just a little bit difference there. Of course, this one, like I said, is more optimized, you can say. But yeah, we have more games to open. Smash hit. And... Okay, that is again slightly quicker on the Experience version. Snapchat. And almost about the same. Spotify. Uh, quicker here. Let's go ahead and launch YouTube. And that is much quicker on the Galaxy S9 Plus with the Experience UI. And lastly, we're going to be launching cameras at the same time. And that is also faster on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus Experience version. So I got to say, uh, not much of a difference with the app launching times. This one obviously is better with app launching times because, again, this is the optimized environment and this is not so optimized. Uh, but still, it uh, held pretty well. For the browsing test, I'm using the default internet browser, of course, on this one. And on here, I'm also using the internet browser because Chrome is not that good. Uh, this one just does better. So first, we're going to open up WWE.com, both phones. Boom. Let's see. All right. So the POS 9, first one to come to the website. And it is uh, 
almost at the end to finish and it does finish up faster yes just a little bit quicker than the experienced version so first win to the pure s9 plus and again uh scrolling and everything looks super smooth on both phones same thing with zooming in and out no lag whatsoever next up we have apple.com and uh that is uh almost the same maybe this one was a tiny bit quicker again very hard to see differences we are comparing the phones with same internals exynos processor six gigabyte of ram just different software version so let's see the ram management this is where we'll see some interesting stuff so first up phone dialer kept there no i think that was a refresh settings and i think it also got refresh is showing us this white screen all right instagram and okay so uh feels like this is definitely refreshing let's see subway surfers okay there we go so um that is why i said it is not for everyone definitely not for everyone the s9 plus will have its full potential with the stock or the actual samsung software so yeah once a custom always a custom and pinout is just literally refreshing everything and this one will probably keep everything in so asphalt 9 that's still there and asphalt 9 also got refresh so pretty much nothing is in the memory i mean all the first apps including stock ones they got refreshed so i mean like i said it is not optimized it is stock but it is not optimized like the pixel so even with the great hardware same hardware as uh, the s9 plus experience version it's not going to perform up to that level all right so that's it for this test uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, comparison of the 9.0 by unofficial gsi image on the s9 plus up against a stock normal s9 plus so again um uh, you're gonna lose performance as well and you're gonna lose your you know essential features like i said the s9 plus won't be performing to its maximum potential with this uh, gsi image so you're better off with the samsung experience ui and uh, again if you want this look if you want the android 9.0 pi look you can definitely install uh, the pixel launcher or you can install nova launcher i mean that's the beauty of android like you have so much customization that's the best thing you can do if you are really hungry for that stock look so hope you guys have enjoyed this give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out